Welcome back, guys. Sherry here. Did you know that you can electrify a Henix? Not only can you electrify a Henix, you can also electrify a major, moderate, and minor test of strength. And we're doing it right now. So let's get into it. What we're going to need to do this trick is the Great Thunder Blade. If you already have one and you would just like to see the trick, I'm going to leave timestamps in the description below. I'm also going to leave a link in the description to show you the object map that I use to find items. But if you don't have one, I'm going to show you a couple of spots to get one. If you're not aware of this, Stalnox will carry elemental weapons. And the one in the Gerudo region just happens to carry a Great Thunder Blade. So you can go back after every Blood Moon if you were to break yours and get an one. Here is the location of this particular Stalnox, but if you're trying to find a different elemental weapon, again, you can use the link that's in the description to the object map and it will help you find the other Stalnox. Or you can just search for whichever elemental weapon you're looking for. Another place we can find a Great Thunder Blade is in the Hebra region, right off of Kucho Mountain. You can start off at the Tabantha Tower, jump from there and reach it very easily. Now, I have not picked this one up yet, so I'm not sure if this one respawns. If you do know, please leave a comment so you can help others. But this guy decided to pick it up. Typically, you're going to find this stuck in the ground in between these rocks. Okay, last but not least, a good place to get a Great Thunder Blade is the Colosseum Ruins because you can always come back here after a Blood Moon. And not only can you get the Great Thunder Blade, you can get all three types of elemental weaponry here. However, there is a Lionel at the bottom of the Colosseum. Now, if you don't know how to kill a Lionel or you're uncomfortable trying to kill a Lionel, you can click the link in the upper right hand corner. I will also leave a link in the description and I'll show you exactly how I taught myself to kill a Lionel. And if you don't know how to find the Lionels, I will also leave a link in the description showing you all 22 locations. Now, if you'll take a look at this Colosseum, it has different levels. The top level is going to be all of your thunder elemental weaponry. The second level is going to be ice and the bottom level is going to be fire. So this is just a great place to come if you're looking for any type of elemental weaponry. Okay, now to do this trick, guys, on a Henix, it will only work with a Henix that have a metal shin guard. And all we want to do is equip our Great Thunder Blade. And then you want to swing it like you're going to do a charge swing. And in mid-swing, go to your inventory and drop it. Now, if you want to check it and make sure the electricity is going through it, you can drop a metal weapon and just touch it. Once you see the electricity is working, all we have to do is grab our Great Thunder Blade and we're just going to move it right over next to that metal shin guard. And now he is frozen and you can go have your way with him. Just be cautious just in case he were to get knocked loose. And I'm not sure who figured this trick out, but hats off to him. Now to do this trick in a test of strength, let's go ahead and run through the door. Just don't go in far enough to where you're going to trigger him. Let's go ahead and get out our Great Thunder Blade and let's go to swing it. Now in mid-swing, go to your inventory and drop it. Then step away from it. Then let's drop two more metal items. Now pick up one of the metal items and let's touch the Thunder Blade and just make sure the electricity is working. If the electricity is working, let's go ahead and put it in the middle of the room. If it's not working, just pick the Great Thunder Blade up and repeat the process. But if it is working, let's go ahead and put all three items out in the middle of the room. And you just kind of want to line them up to where they're touching each other. Again, be careful here and don't step out too far to trigger him. But once you have all three in the middle of the room, now let's go ahead and trigger him. And all we need to do is just guide him to where he's going to hit these weapons. and now he is stuck. But you don't want to hit him with a weapon or with a bow and arrow because you can knock him off. But to hurry the process along, we can grab some wood and build a fire. 
Just be careful and don't build the fire over top of your weapons, that way you won't damage them. And no, this does not hurt the durability of your weapons as long as you don't put the fire over top of them. And once again, he can get knocked off and come loose, so I would not suggest you go do laundry or go cook or anything like that. Now this trick does work with the test of strength that has water on the floor, but unfortunately you can't build a fire for obvious reasons. However, it does work. And if you're unaware, these guys will respawn after a blood moon. So this is a great way to stock up on some ancient weaponry and ancient parts. So I hope you guys enjoy the video or it helps. If so, please smash that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll just catch you guys next time.